Hey, what is up everybody, and welcome back to yet another episode of Minecraft. So, today I am smelting up some... Can't click. Eh, uh, chest. Click. I, okay, I can't do that. Um, yeah, so today I'm smelting up some netherrack here, um, to make nether bricks. Uh, because I want to use them for the main flooring for a project which I'm going to be doing today um, and I'm going to be I'm going to make a wither skeleton farm it's about time that we had one uh, I also need to get looting on this I don't think I can but I'll see what if I can do it it might say it's too expensive to put it on so I might need to get a looting sword but yeah, um, so smelting up some nether brick here, it's going to be 32 stacks of nether brick in total and then the, I think it's going to be only 8 stacks when I actually finish with it. Uh, let me try that now, see how much it gives me. Yeah, it's, I'm only going to be left with 8 stacks, so I'm going to have to do this once more afterwards, another 32 stacks, maybe, to be able to get all the area done. Um, I'm going to be doing it at my nether fortress, the one where the portal is to the second base. And yeah, I'll be back in a few hours when I've got all the resources collected, because this might take a while. Uh, it should be a pretty simple project, so I'm, I'm basically just putting down blocks. I'm not really mining any. I already have loads of netherrack. Um, but I, what another thing I would need to do, though, is I'm going to need to like put slabs everywhere in the nether so that other mobs don't spawn. So I would need to go to the second base which I'll do when I get there and then just grab a whole bunch of stone or something make loads of slabs and then just cover the floor everywhere uh, we're quite lucky actually because it's close to a big lava lake so don't need to do too too much but still gonna take a while to do yeah I'll be back when this is done and it is finished smelting so that is very good we can now make lots of nether brick just do this and then we will go and start working on the farm uh, I think I'll co cover the area in slabs after I do the main bit Okay, I must have miscalculated something, because they're supposed to be an exact amount. That is strange. I thought I put 32 stacks in there. Ah, I put 31 stacks in there. I'm, I'm so smart. Yeah, I need to smelt one more stack real quick. That's why... It was still cold burning when it should have finished. So one more stack. Ah, oh, never mind. We. <laughs> oh, I forgot we have all this. Oh well. Um. Let's just do that. Let's get rid. Of... Ah, we're gonna need that again. Okay, so we have eight stacks. So there's one, two. Three, four, I guess. There's four more stacks, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna smelt up a few more of these, just like whatever I need. To get those few more. Actually, I don't even need. I don't even need it. I'm lazy today. Okay, I'm just gonna take two from here. Just like that. And there we go, we have 12 stacks now of nether bricks, so that is all good. We'll, we'll take that with us and get rid of that because it's a sin to use it. It was just faster that way. And now we will go to the nether and let's get to the nether fortress. Okay, so here we are in the nether. Um, don't think there's any more blaze around. Good. Um, as you can see we've got a wither skeleton over there and some blaze over there 
It's going to be a problem, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You just shoot it. Can't shoot it. Okay, despawned. All right, We've got two weather skeletons here. Um, now they spawn at these intersections. I think there's supposed to be an intersection there as well. Uh, I don't. I don't know maybe it changed so maybe they spawn elsewhere now as well just in general I think they even spawn just just like in the nether I, I'm not sure but I think they do but there's basically a, a higher chance of them spawning in these intersection sort of things so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill in the gaps here to increase the surface area where they can spawn and then that way basically more will spawn so I might have enough here actually I don't know but I'm gonna get rid of like most of this stuff here there's no spawner there anymore yeah I'm gonna get rid of all of this I'll keep it three high but I'll get rid of that ceiling there and then I'm gonna set up minecart system to go around the whole fortress um, I think I'll extend it to somewhere over there as well probably yeah I'll set up a minecart system to go around so and then we can just hop off whenever we want if we see a wither skeleton and then we can kill it and then hop on so you can new ones can spawn blah 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 you get the gist of it let's get on with some work I'm probably not going to record any of it I'm just oh I'm going to need to go dig all of this out as well here I'm probably not going to record any of it um, but I will I will be watching something whilst doing it so it's not too boring all oh, right, I did as much as I could with those eight stacks. Um, I also got a bit more destroying the walls here, but yeah, that's all I could do for now. Um, it it got pretty difficult. There were blazes spawning everywhere, and they're just knocking me off. I think uh, when I come back to do this more, I will get some fire resistant potions because that that was difficult. That definitely took up some time killing those blazes. But yeah, got quite a big area done here, as you can see. We're definitely getting more spawns, I think. Um, all I have to do is run from one end to the other and I get a spawn, pretty much. Oh, that wasn't good. Of course, there's Blaze over there. That's the trouble with Blaze now, because they, a few like updates ago, like a few years ago, they started seeing a lot further than they used to. That's really annoying. Like, you can't just keep them. Yeah, I filled that in. I'm gonna go do... I'm gonna slab the whole area around here now, I think. Uh, because I don't want to deal with the blaze anymore. Annoying blaze. Do I have any more poison potions? I have a few poison potions in here. Cool. Um, okay, so get rid of that. Um, slabs. I need. I'm gonna go to the second base to get some slabs. Um, I wonder how far, like, what coordinates this is because. Oh, actually, you're really not that far from my map. Like, one of the next few maps I'm doing should be here, I think. So I'm going to get this mapped out finally. Uh, I got this on three things now. Uh, the last full harvest wasn't quite enough for uh, a full one. So I didn't bother. But yeah, uh, storage should have plenty of stone here if I can find it it's cobblestone oh we have a lot of cobblestone that's good okay that was stone so that means that we should have more stone here yes we do indeed um, okay that should be good Uh, and why not just do that? Ah, I see we have a problem. I 
And we can solve that problem by doing this, can't we? No, wrong one. That, yeah. Lots of stone slabs. Cool, uh, I think that's 24 stacks. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, so we can go back now and I'll just do the, f the surrounding area and then I'll be back again, I guess. Gonna sleep here real quick though. All right, so two shulker boxes and a bit later. Um, we got a lot covered, but it's nowhere near enough. It's gonna be like four more shulker boxes at least to get enough covered here. Yeah, this is what I've done. Not too much, but definitely a definitely a bit. This took like an hour and a half. This will be worth it though in the end, because we're gonna be able to get so many wither skeletons. So quickly. Oh boy, look at all these blaze that we don't want. Running away, because I don't want to die. I mean, I won't because I'm a boss. But seriously, um, that that took a while. Uh, so I I don't think I want to work on this today anymore. Uh, I'm a bit tired, to be honest. Um, so here's what here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna kill these. Okay. Um, I'm gonna check the time on the episode and then we'll see if there's anything else we should do if not I will probably just talk about something for a bit alright so it seems like we still have a lot of time to spare and I've already been at this episode for hours like I'm not kidding like three hours now on this one episode I remember spending this much time on more than five other episodes ever oh nice shot so yeah, um, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do now, um, I'm only about 12-13 minutes in, and I still have to find something else to do, um, it's a difficult one, isn't it, like, there's a lot of things to do, but, not, like, it would be pointless starting them now, because that's going to be another few hours, uh, I need to find something I can do just to, like, record, um, I know exactly what to do actually. Um, gonna go into my experiments world here, yeah? So, got nothing moving for key. So, you remember how I was gonna do the stairs thing, yeah? For the big map. Well, it seems really difficult to do for such a small place. Unless I can. Okay, I might have figured it out now. But ne never mind that now. Uh, something else I really want to show you. If I can even find it. Oh, where is it here? I don't think it's that. It might will, will be that. No, it's not that. It's basically that, but with a select panel. That's it. That's it right there. Okay, so. Um, a while ago I wanted to do an armor swapper project sort of thing, however what never was able to happen was that for some reason you can't place armor stands into minecarts anymore or at least it, it doesn't work for me at all and I can't figure out why uh, because you used to be able to do that but apparently not anymore where are the armor stands? It was there, okay. So, if I was to place that minecart there and that armor stand there, you see, it doesn't go. And I don't get it. Um, does the armor stand need to have something on it for it to work? I don't know. Just do that. Hmm. 
Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't seem to work, and I really can't get why. So maybe instead of doing armor stands, uh, what, what I could do is just um, where are they? Just minecarts. Um, so. Yeah, if I was to put just mine cotton here, everything will work. I don't actually need that there. Um, and this whole thing could be a lot simpler, probably. Well, actually, no, it will have to be similar. Okay, so let's just say the. Um, let's just say this works. So we put one in there, and then. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, honestly. Okay, so... What we need is to select something else. Let's say that. So there's a select, there's going to be a select panel here. Um, and... Then when we press the button... The minecart gets sent off, and it's going to go to the right place. Because there isn't a minecart here. This is honestly a genius thing that I did, and I'm gonna do a more detailed video on this later. But basically, I'm gonna want to copy that into my world somewhere. Okay, and so the next minecart comes along, which is the one that should have been there. Um, one I just, the one that I just called for. And I'm pretty certain this works. Um, and it, there's this is a pretty cool selector panel that I have here. Um, works kind of like that, if you can see. Um, would need to be tested more to like see how I how I can do it with it so compact. But so now I've got that one selected, and the minecart goes. That's not going to go until that passes over, and now because that's empty, yeah. If I have anything else going, let's say this the same one gonna go back in. One thing that this doesn't do though is it doesn't check if there is no need for that minecart to be sent. I mean like let's say we have so we this minecart gets sent when it passes this rail yeah there's a bug on my table what is this I don't know. It is dead now. Okay. Um, let's say the minecart doesn't pass this rail because it stops before this. How does this know to get sent? Um, well, kind of have an idea. I need. I, I would need to work this all out. So there's a vector rail here. Honestly, I have no idea how this works. Honestly, no idea how this works right now. So. That gets turned off, I think, because, yeah, that rail doesn't send the signal to that. So it turns that one off. Um, so what I think is going to need to happen... Nah, that's not going to work. Or will it? Yeah, so this is now locked, yeah. So, you know what, let me quickly build another one of these and test it. That's, that must work. Would Mojang care to explain? Alright, so I got the second one built here. Uh, I got the first minecart in there. Um, I don't think it's going to work as it is right now, but there is possibly a change I could do to make it work. So as you see that did not send the second minecart as I wanted it to. Uh, it needs another one to pass over. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking I will have to do. Um, after every minecart that passes, so like I send off a minecart, yeah, and then like a few ticks later another one goes, and that one goes all the way to the end and then returns to the f start there. I think is what I'm gonna do. And then this will work impeccably because of course it will. So now if we ask for the first minecart again, and we have 
that one in there. It will work because it passes over that uh, plate. I'm really quite proud of using these locking repeaters because I never used them before before this. Like never ever. And then I just figured out this really nice contraption. Um, what I'm going to do uh, now is I'm going to design a quick way of sending off the second minecart. So currently what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to have this loop. Instead of doing this I'm going to need it to loop somewhere else. So it's just going to be a normal minecart, pretty useless. Uh, it's there's one there. Okay, so here's how it's how how it would work. We want the one that's last, right? Yeah, because that's the one that's activated. So we trigger that. That goes off, and then a few ticks later, that one goes. That passes right through, and then that one goes. And there were two, somehow. There must have been one there already. Okay. So yeah, that that should work just fine. And then after this one, another one would pass like this. Uh, that one would. Oh, you know what? We can't do that. <laughs> ah, why is this got to be so complicated? Okay, so that that this is good. We're testing this, and we just found a weakness. Uh, we cannot send the second minecart because it will trigger well it won't trigger it will go into the one that just left so unless we do it quick enough which we should try probably so we send for that one okay that, that was too late I think try it a bit quicker maybe why did yeah, it, it won't work. It it went into it, in, inside the other rail. Yeah, it didn't switch fast enough, I don't think. Well, no, like, it just went through completely. <laughs> hmm. What if... So... We have this detector rail which decides both on whether to let this one through and to whether send the other one through or whether to have this one go here. That I'm talking gibberish. Having the minecart go in, the minecart going out, or letting the minecart pass through. That this is all de decided on this rail here. So <laughs> What we need is we need delay for this to be deciding later because we're gonna send it in a bit. Okay, so it is going from where? It's going right here. That's all there is. Those one, two, three, three ticks. Well, four, I guess, if the rail doesn't turn on instantly. So if we have that on four ticks, I wonder, will that make a difference? So this is automatically going in? No, ah, I'm confused. No, it's automatically letting it through. Okay, um, try this again. We're wanting the first one. That one goes through. Yeah, that was just fine. Okay, and now we want the second one. Oh, I think that one worked. Or did it? I can't tell. Let's try that again. Um, we're going to do it quick. First one. Oh no, that didn't work at all. 
and let's push that one out for third, I guess. So that didn't work at all. Um, hmm. I mean, I guess I wasted a lot of time for this episode now, but I'm actually genuinely interested in how to make this work. Uh, I should probably have dinner soon, actually. It's kind of late. Um, I've literally been in on this episode for four hours now. This is how long I've spent on this episode. Very few other videos I've spent this long on. Huh. Okay, so... What can we do? I mean, the simplest way to do it would be to... Have it... No, that just wouldn't work. I think this is the problem I was running into originally. But I'm a lot closer to having it work now because this is so much simpler than it used to be. Like, if we look here, it's so much more complicated. Like... Pistons. Like, this is how complicated it was and it didn't even work. <laughs> I, I don't even know what that is, that needs to be destroyed. So, really, what what am I doing here? Ah... Uh, Um, I'm gonna... You know what, I'm, I'm asking right now. Sethling, buddy, I know you don't know me or don't even care to know me, but red, one redstone to another, I'm gonna tweet you, and I'm gonna, gonna link this video or something. Can you solve my problem here without overcomplicating this? And possibly even simplifying this? Many thanks in advance if you bother. All right, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to um, end the episode here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.